The theory predicts a good deal, but hardly brings us closer to the secret of the old one, wrote Albert Einstein in December 1926 in a letter to Max Born. I am at all events convinced that he does not play tight. Albert Einstein is one of the greatest and certainly best known physicists. If you ask anyone to name a physicist, the most common answer you will receive is Einstein. Einstein was also famous for his quotations. Among the many Einstein's quotations, one is particularly popular among the general public. God does not play tight. But what did Einstein mean by this? The special and general theories of relativity provided a radical new way of conceiving space and time and their active interactions with matter and energy. These theories are entirely consistent with the lawful harmony established by Einstein's God. But the new theory of quantum mechanics, which Einstein had also helped to find in 1905, was telling a different story. Quantum mechanics is about interactions involving matter and radiation at the scale of atoms and molecules set against a passive background of space and time. Earlier, in 1926, Schrodinger had radically transformed the theory by formulating these weird wave functions. But Bohr and Heisenberg promoted the view that the new quantum representations should not be taken too literally. In a sense, Bohr and Heisenberg argued that science had finally caught up with the conceptual problems involved with the description of reality that philosophers had been working for centuries. The broadly anti-realist Copenhagen interpretation denying that the wave function represents the real physical state of quantum system quickly became the dominant way of thinking about quantum mechanics. But this was utterly inconsistent with Einstein's philosophy. Einstein could not accept an interpretation in which the wave function is not real. The state was the set for one of the most remarkable debates in the entire history of science as Bohr and Einstein went head to head on the interpretation of quantum mechanics. It was a clash of two philosophies, two conflicting sets of metaphysical preconceptions about the nature of reality and what we might expect from the scientific representation of this. The debate began in 1927 and although the protagonists are no longer with us, the debate is still very much alive and unresolved. I don't think Einstein would have been particularly surprised by this. In February 1954, just 14 months before he died, he wrote in a letter to the American physicist David Bohm, if God created the world, his primary concern was certainly not to make its understanding easy for us.